What a cool dude. To create your toad house, you're going to need terracotta pots. Having a couple different sizes for your toad house isn't a bad idea. That way you can get the smallest of toads all the way to the largest. Before you start decorating, decide which way you want your toad houses to go. Do you want them to be straight up and down with a little entrance hole at the bottom and an exit hole in the back? Or do you want your pot to lie flat? You can use the drainage hole as the back entrance by enlarging it a little bit and bury your pot. But this will help you figure out how you want to decorate it and which side would be facing up. And plenty of decorating tools. I chose to mosaic my pot, so I needed mosaic tiles, glue, a tile cutter, and grout. Then I drew my design onto the pot, marking the spaces where the terracotta pot would sit inside the ground. That way I would know how far to mosaic. Then I glued the tiles on, did a whole bunch of waiting for glue to dry so that I could keep rotating the pot without tiles falling off. Enjoy some toad fun facts while we wait for me to finish my mosaic work. Did you know that a single toad can eat 1,000 insects, spiders, and slugs each night? Their ability to manage insect populations alone is a great reason to try to attract them to your yard. Frogs have slick, wet skin for swimming, while toads have dry, bumpy skin for blending in with a forest floor. Frogs also have large hind legs for jumping high and quick, while toads have shorter but strong legs for jumping far and low. Toads are found on every continent except for Antarctica. Toads don't have teeth, so when they catch food, they swallow it whole. Now back to my mosaic work. I chose black grout as it was really great contrast with the white and the bright green. Then once the grout had settled for a little bit and cured, I was able to wash the grout off and then buff it a little bit. After that, I buried it inside the ground and created the toad house that you see here. I also wanted to make sure that there was plenty of water so that the toads, which are amphibians, could be happy having both land and water available to them. So as you are coming up with places for your toad house, you want to make sure that they're in this nice kind of cool environment. This is the type of place where they're going to be living anyway. So you want to make sure that it's a cool shaded spot. They have access to insects and they have access to water. Those are going to be your three main things.